Little did any of us know that at nine o'clock that within two minutes, the most heinous act of terrorism that has ever occurred, domestic terrorism that has ever occurred on American soil would occur less than 100 yards from where I'm standing and from where you're sitting. In that next two minutes, 168 people's lives were snuffed out, including 19 children. I know you've seen many pictures then and now in, in the museum of the Murrah building, but unless you're there in person, you just can't appreciate the devastation that that, uh, that bomb, that car bomb caused on that date. It's, we, we hear this so often in life about having a surreal experience, and it's almost a cliche, but to me, it was a surreal experience standing there and seeing what had happened. I, I wish you could understand the, the scope of the FBI investigation in, in, into this case. The number of searches that uh, I signed search warrants for and uh, the number of, of exhibits that they had to go through, they eventually got the hotel records from every motel that any of these people who were involved could possibly have stayed at, from Tucumcari to New Mexico to all over Kansas uh, to Arizona, and went through every record, millions of records. Sounds like a cliche, but our system worked exactly the way it should work. Uh, these were evil men that did a heinous act Yet they got a, a trial, as fair a trial as America can give to a, a citizen. The FBI did their job exactly the way they were supposed to do. Why, why we, we pay our taxes to have federal agencies and other law enforcement uh, personnel do their jobs. It was a mammoth, massive undertaking, the largest manhunt, as I say, in the history of the United States. I, I think we should all, as, as Americans, take pride in the, from the beginning to end how that case was handled. Uh, the result turned out the way it should have turned out and it was done in a fair way uh, to everybody involved.